Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Destiny. I'm Death and Above. We got some auto rifles. We got two auto rifles, two god rolls, last week, this week. And we're going to take them head to head. So we've got the Extremophile, this week's Dead Orbit vendor version. And then we have the Continental, last week's vendor version from the Vanguard. So we've got two guns. We're going to take them into some PvP and see which one I like the most. Now, what makes this interesting is now that the vendor resets happen every week, we're going to get these guns all the time. We're going to get all sorts of different versions of all sorts of awesome guns, which makes this fun for me. So, uh, we got two guns. So, we'll take a look at last week's Continental, and then we'll take a look at this week's Extreme of Fire while we load into some Clash. So, what I'm going to do is one match with each gun, and then uh, if I need a tiebreaker at the end, we'll do a third match and see which one I like the most. But uh, the Continental from last week, this one's not from around here. They're both medium impact, medium rate of fire auto rifles. Extremely good stability because of the vendor roll. Counterbalance, perfect balance, rodeo. Uh, I've been using the OEG rifle scope on this one, but it's also got the quick draw, which we may bounce to, or the red dot, which we may bounce to, actually. So I like the OEG because of the range. The handling on this gun's already good enough. It's got quick reload, really good stability. So I'm not worried about that. I like improving the range on it. So that's the Continental. Now let's look at the Extremophile. So this vendor version for the Extremophile has almost the same role. Perfect balance, counterbalance with high caliber rounds. So you're going to get a little bit more flinch out of your enemies. Same scope. Uh, it says OEG. This is not the rifle scope, but this is the OEG. Uh, I prefer this one over the other two. It's got quick draw and it's got the the reflex I might switch to the reflex for a little bit but we'll start off with the OEG for a pretty solid comparison so they're very similar guns stability and reload is almost identical on both you can see that both guns have the same mag size same recoil same almost the same reload I mean it's gonna be a very very close comparison um, it might come down to aesthetics which color pattern do I like the best I don't know but we're going to take them into some clash, use both of them, do a god roll showdown, and have some fun shooting some man. So if you ever want to come check these out, I always record these live on Twitch. Uh, I record a lot of my videos live there. Every morning you'll find me, I'll probably record a video for YouTube live on the Twitch stream. And I stream every day from 6 to 7 a.m. So if you ever want to come check that out, link is in the description. If you're watching on Twitch, I love your face. You can chat below, sprinkle it below the camera, the camera. And uh, that's where that'll be, and that's what that will be. So, we're going to compare these two auto rifles. Really, we're just going to have fun going into Crucible, shooting mans with them, and uh, getting a good feel for the gun. I've already used both of them a little bit in PvP, enough to know that they're good and I like them. But we're going to see how good they are. Especially with Zer selling Suros Regime this morning, it feels like it's auto rifle day in the Crucible. Uh, I played one match earlier with that, and it was auto rifles everywhere. Everywhere. So that was fun. I got killed by Hawkins Hatchet. I got killed by, I don't know if it was the Suros Regime or uh, a couple other. I got killed by Necrochasm. It was just, a, it was good. It was a good old time in the Crucible. So we're going to continue that fun. I think we'll do some MLG Super Snibbity Snipes with the Icebreaker too. So if that sounds like your bag, baby, let's do it. I'm running, uh, I am running my Warlock with the Nothing Manacles. Zer was selling these this week and I felt like. Uh, it was an appropriate time to uh, pull, pull them. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I use nothing manacles all the time on Warlock. I was just gonna pretend that I got them out because Zura came, but I, I always use those for PvP. So we're running Nova Bomb, Warlock, Icebreaker, Machine Gun for my Heavy, and we're running a Max Discipline build. So grenades for days, lots of auto rifle shots, and uh, Icebreaker if I feel like being cheeky and going for those quick scopes probably won't be much of that happening or if there is it'll be much failing so frontier one of my least favorite pvp maps but let's get to it so we'll be running the uh the extreme of file first i am over there i'm right here that's me <laughs> i'm right below me below me so let's do this we got the extreme of file counterbalance perfect balance high caliber rounds i think the high caliber rounds might be the difference maker we'll see so far, I'm really enjoying this gun. I got it yesterday. Been using it a good bit. Uh, there's a guy right there. The range is interesting on this gun. Get off me. You done, son. I feel like I got... Did I get first blood? I did not. I almost did. <laughs> I was involved in it one way or the other, though, but we traded. So, uh, you could see the range shot I was going for before I got so unceremoniously 
dealt um, was pretty good. Oh, he saw me. Problem with this map is it's made for almost scout rifles. You can get away with a longer range auto rifle. Teammates are not playing. I need you guys to get active. So it may be good. It may not be good on this map. I don't know. We'll see. I haven't had bad luck with this gun yet. It seems to have been pretty, pretty user friendly anytime I try to use it. 21 to the head. If you're within the right range, there's a kill. I'll take it. Uh, but the counterbalance perfect balance combination on auto rifle, especially a medium impact auto rifle, they work really nicely. You can kind of uh, pick your shots. Hodges, listen, I'm going to have to talk to you about this. Stop it. Although that gun, your gun choice with the two anella, I, I approve. I approve this message. It's good. It's a good gun. We're going to go down, and then we're going to go back up. And hello. Gotcha. Run away. Still got ammo. Still got ammo. Oh, that's a grenade. That was a good grenade, actually. All right, let's reload this sucker. Please. Please. Hi. Oh, my auto rifle has lots of balance and counterbalance and perfect balance. And it aims well. It's a nice gun. <laughs> That's one of the things you miss out on a lot of auto rifles is that ability to hit, hit people from distance. So it's nice to finally have that on an auto rifle. It's, it's, I don't like that it takes two perks to do it. Who's throwing smoke at me? Don't throw your shade at me. Bruh. Bruh. Don't be throwing shade at me, bruh. Coming in from up high. I'm, uh, hi, please. I don't know what's happening. Blink strike. Okay. Sure. Sure. So we need to make the comparison. Does it feel like high caliber rounds is making a difference? It should make the gun a little bit slower, a little bit less accurate, but uh, a little bit more capable as far as stopping people. Hi. What are you doing? I have an auto rifle. Do you like some bullets? Look at that distance. That's pretty good distance out of an auto rifle. Oh, that grenade! Take him out! Take him out! Got you. I heard a, I heard of something. It sounded like a grenade, I guess. Shark, what's up? Good morning! Alright, auto rifle. I'm feeling very confident with this gun. I can take out multiple enemies. The mag's big enough. I'm judicious with my bullets. Oh, that grenade's gonna kill me. Don't you do it. You did it. Ho oh, ho ho! He didn't expect team bros. Team bros. I'll get him, I'll get him. I mean, a blade dance, man. He's gonna be dancing with his blades. So I can't notice a huge difference from the high caliber rounds as far as it seems like they're flinching like crazy, because it doesn't. It seems like, you know, whatever. Please, please help. Please, please call the doctor. I'm down. Homesick again, Shark? I am sorry to hear that. I hope, hope you get better soon. Or I hope if you're not sick enough to not have a good time at home, you're having a good time. I remember when I would stay home from school sick, I would definitely enjoy playing some, uh, some video games. Oh, nope. I will have that kill, and I will be dead from his hammer. The attention that I give things is not enough. <laughs> not enough. But yeah, I don't know. If you're actually sick, it sucks. If you just don't feel good, it's not too bad. Come on, baby. Hold it on target. Hold it. Now, aim assist on auto rifles is probably almost non-existent. Oh, hello. Would you like some? I will give you all of them. Did I get a doubler darn? This one. Oh, that grenade coming from there. From the distance. From the distance. I have no ability to get out of there quickly. No shade step, no life vest, nothing. Oh, we're not gonna get any heavy. Oh, we're gonna get there. Uh, I'm not, uh, no, 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 no. Oh, wait. Oh, okay, fine. I feel like things are happening around me. Let's get an auto rifle kill. Oh, you done, son? Oh, the aim. Didn't even worry about avoiding or strafing. I just, just straight to the face. Hi. Yep, you're dead. This is an assist machine, that's for sure. The sustained fire. Let's see your uh, ouch. Ouch. Let's your ouch. Alex is up. 
You just don't feel good? There you go. Zer hype. He's, yeah, he's got the Zeros. It's a good day for Zer. Alright. Extreme of foul. I need you to win us this match, please. We got over here. I'll have it. I'm liking it. Currently no icebreaker shots. Let's get one. Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> I didn't know where I was getting shot from. Oh, you, sir. Oh, the lag on the grenade. I hate it. It's like... So occasionally, they'll just bounce like a basketball. Let's get a snipe. Oh, yeah. You can do that stuff. You can definitely do that stuff. We're going to open that package in just a minute. Is that their team or our team? Their team, our team. I don't know you, man. Same time, I don't know you. Refiring that. Oh, I didn't get him. Steady hand. Oh, okay. Cool. Well, Tana, here you go. It's very effective. You just gotta understand the limitations of an auto rifle in PvP, like getting murdered by a scout rifle from range when you're not paying attention. I think high caliber rounds are benefiting me, but I just can't tell. I can't tell. I mean, when I'm in the engagement and I'm... Oh, I will have that. Thank you. See you later. Bye. Jump up. Jump up. Jump up. Nope. No jumping. I'm in the... I am one with the tree. Where did he go? Come back to me. Baby, come back. You can blame it all on me. Ha ha! You're dead. I did that. That was all me. Blood Dancer. Nope. He got away. It's Blade Dancer right now. Is he dead? Is he still alive? I feel like he's around here somewhere. Nope. How did this guy do it? He's a ninja. He's the greatest ninja there's ever been. Did we win? Yes. Take a kill at the end. Thank you. I'll have it. So, Extremophile. It's good. It's good. I don't know that I went positive, but it feels good. You can get things from range. Counterbalance, perfect balance, make it a machine for getting uh, shots at distance. The damage fall off those does. The, da the problem is the damage fall off starts before your stability is outside of its range. So you feel like you can hit them, but you're already getting some damage fall off. So it's like, uh, I'm hitting them, but I'm not doing as much damage as I could. So I don't know. That's an unfortunate side effect of auto rifles. So it's got the right stability. It's got the right uh, feel, but the range is not good enough. So, but I mean, that's auto rifles. So we're going to try the Continental. The only difference between the Continental, the only difference between them is really the scope because I've got the rifle scope on this one. And the uh, hip, it's got a rodeo instead of high caliber round. So this one should be a little bit quicker. Should be a little quicker. It's going to flinch the enemy less. So I'm feeling the one-on-ones when we're shooting at each other. I may lose more of those. But I don't really know. We'll see. That's going to be the comparison. Does the high caliber rounds benefit it? Which one's better? We'll see. we got a whole match to find out. We're going to do some shenanigans. Uh, you guys want me to open that auto rifle package and see what we get? Hmm, we'll hold that to the end. See if we can't get a heavy weapon kill or two. Maybe a sniper kill or two. I do have a clash bounty in here somewhere. We need to do three more matches. That's not going to happen in this video. It might happen on the stream, not in the video. It's only 399 light. You don't want to use it because it's not 400. <laughs> half my gear is 399 and it really kind of makes me angry. Like this. And like half my ghosts. I just don't, I just don't man. And like my sleeper, 399. Come on. Come on now. And that's not even a remnant of the old infusion system. That's just the facts. Just I've, It's $3.99 for some reason. But, quick synopsis on the Extremophile. It's good. Go buy it. If you like auto rifles and you like using them in PvP, that's a good one. Uh, PvE, it's, you know, it's whatever. It doesn't have those crowd-pleasing, uh, ad-killing abilities. I would go for something else, but... PvP, it's a lot of fun. If you want to get a fun gun, definitely thumbs up fun gun status. I'll give it that much for sure. For sure, dude. All right, Trace of Kone's. We got lots of glimmer. Arms Day will be easy this week. So, 
Chat. YouTube. What's your favorite auto rifle right now? Non -le or non exotic. What's your favorite legendary auto rifle right now? Um, because right now one of these two is probably it for me. I don't know that I'm using any other legendary auto rifles for anything, other than other than the Genesis chain for PVE. Now, obviously, Genesis chain is extremely able for lots of things. But I'm looking at my inventory currently, and I mean I've got a Hawkins hatchet. I've got the Era 4145. I've got an old Soul Stealer's Claw that I love to death. Um, the the uh, Arminius D though, it's a good gun. Good gun. So, Continental Rodeo instead of high caliber rounds, a little bit more range out of the rifle scope, not much. Uh, we might bounce it to a short range scope at some point just to see if we're not getting the results I desire. But I think I think with the stability perks that it has, the rifle scope is probably the best choice. Uh, get the range kills, get the headshots. I didn't notice any any issues with the extremophile using the uh, the OEG scope. So I'll I'll uh, I'll be happy with that. The cauldron, the cauldron. I feel like uh, the rifle scope will do good here. I always get this one confused with uh, anomaly when I'm just seeing the name, but once you see it, you're like, oh, this is the one with all the doors. The doors. You like Shadow Price. I have not been able to get a good Year 3 Shadow Price. Year 2 or Year 3 Shadow Price. I've got a really good Year 1 Shadow Price that will never leave my inventory. But the Year 2 or Year 3, can't get a good one, man. But that's a good gun. Definitely a solid gun. All right. This one's going to have more range, more zoom because of the rifle scope. Let's see if we can't get over here and get a grenade kill. I'll take that one. First blood. Here we go this way. Reload, please. Oh, Necrochasm. Not even a shot. So, I don't know, man. I like the scope on this one. It's nice. It feels quick. It feels very fast. I feel like high caliber rounds slowed the extreme of file down. Let's check out the range. The range, the fall off is not too bad. Icebreaker. You jerk. The Better Spy. What's up? I like that name. The Better Spy. Max stability shadow price, that would be pretty nice. I need one. I need another one in my life. Holy cow! Let's get a triple darn. There it is. <laughs> Everybody line up. Let me shoot you real quick. Ooh, we won a one on one with a hand cannon. Well, we didn't win, we tied. Back up. I like how I saw three guys when I opened the door and none of them were looking at me and I killed all with an auto rifle, really with a grenade, but you know, you take what you can get. You are a jerk, Graceland. This is the problem though, if you find you get into a crucible match with competent hand cannon users, uh, these auto rifles are gonna suffer a little bit more. But it's really just based on the level of your competition. The better spy. But oh, I see you there. Come a little closer, come closer. Nope. nope. Get him. Get him. Better Spy, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the Death Squad. You're my best friend for the next five minutes or so. No, I'm just kidding. Love you. Why? Why you have to do this? Oh, he hip fired me. I got you, bro. I got you. <laughs> what? I'm going to get you, bro. Let me get you. Oh, I see that shotgun coming. What? What? Cats for James. Who is it that changed all their emotes on Twitch to cats? That's funny. Was it? I think it was Giggs. Giggle monster. Have a grenade. It's good for you. There's a lot of dudes over there. There's a guy behind me as well. I get him again. Falling behind. So far, I like, I can't tell if I like it better or worse than the Extremophile. They honestly feel different. Extremophile feels a little bit slower. This one feels a little bit good. Oh no. Where did my melee go? What was I hitting? Did the wall just, whoa, <laughs> Blade Dancer right now. He needs to calm down. I feel like the Continental is quicker. 
Honestly. It's a quicker gun. In a good way. Extreme file's not slow, though. Just the, the Continental feels quick. I'm gonna have to switch it up uh, scopes. Get off the rifle scope and go for something a little bit shorter range. You ain't gonna make it, bruh. Oh, did I get him? I didn't get him. Let's switch it up to that top scope. Let's see what we got over here on the Continental. Uh, let's go with the red dot. Quick draw? Red dot. I've used the quick draw before. I'm gonna use the red dot. See how I feel about that. See if it's better or not. All right, Shark, thanks for coming by. What's the role in the Continental? We got Rodeo, we got Perfect Balance, we got Counter Balance, we got a guy bothering me with a multi-tool. I want him to stop. All right, I'm just running. Hit fire, grenade, just to back him up. All right, we're going in. Nah, I was gonna get that guy too, but I was gonna get shoulder charged so hard. All right, let's actually use the gun. I'm not a huge fan of the scope. I don't like the box. I don't like the box look. I like you. I like what you're. I like what you're doing there, sir. Although it does feel easier to hold on target, even though I missed. I was. It was. It was going where I was aiming. My aim just isn't very good. I don't know. I kind of like it. Man, get away! No, not like these. No like these. <laughs> what were those grenades doing? Oh, we're not gonna make it. You're not gonna make it. You're not gonna make it. I made it. Don't! Why? Why? It's got a lot of stability, yeah. This gun has a lot of stability. That's, you know, that was my dumb. Call it my dumb. Oh, gosh, gotcha. Team shot there. Team shot happening. Narrow escape. So what do you guys think right now? Continental or Extremophile? I don't know. It's very close. Boom. Waiting on you, bruh. Where you at? I know you're down there. Hi. Oh, you tagged me. You jerk. You jerk. Got it back, though. Got it back. All right. Let's get in there, and then we'll be in there. And it'll be... Oh, that grenade. Ouch. <laughs> Ouch. Mmm, that hurt. Oh, that hurt. All right, let's go. Oh, bullets for your face. Oh, the perfect placement. The perfect grenade placement. i like to go this way. I'd like to reload. And then I would like to shoot mans. Where did he go? A little sneak. He's a little sneak. Sneaky snake. Tana. Let's talk about the uh, the Twitter post with the spider killing the snake. I don't appreciate the nightmare fuel. <laughs> I don't like it. Victory imminent. I don't know why you think you need to scare me more of the Australian critters. They already bother me. Well, they don't really bother me, but, you know. Oh, we killed the Gregasm. Oh, we can get the <laughs> We didn't get him though. So if you didn't know, Tana sent me a tweet with a picture of a snake being killed by a spider. Like, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know how to feel about, I don't know how to feel about that. Like, how did the spider catch the snake? I guess it was a baby snake. Where is this fellow? You're the best around. Well, there's nobody to shoot. Anyway, on that note, I don't know, I think the Extremophile performed better, but I liked the Continental's feel. Obviously we're gonna have a third round and we're gonna have a tiebreaker to see which one I like the most. <laughs> Australia seems to be the land of nopes. Exactly, what is that? I've never gotten that one. Crimson Crest, or have I? I did do better with the Continental. You're going with the Extremophile, you already have the Continental? They're both good. All right, we'll go back to the extreme of file. I'm gonna put on that close range scope, sight, whatever. The reflex, we're gonna roll with that for a minute, and then we'll go back to the continental, we'll try out. We need to do a little bit more work with that one though. We'll try them in the same match, see which one head to head feels better. Um, so far, I'm leaning continental. 
but I could be swayed back to the extreme of foul. I don't know. I don't know. Either way, it's nice that uh, auto rifles are back. They're back. They are now the thing that I'm going to love. So <laughs> I end up getting all these god rolls, playing with them for a week, and then they're going to sit in the vault, and then I'm going to rediscover them like three weeks later and be like, oh, this gun was awesome. And then my vault's really going to be hurting because the raid gear, the god rolls from the resets, the exotics. I mean, exotics are going to start getting deleted just because I can get those again from the, from the, the thing. Uh, Inverse Australia is the no land beyond. It's the nope land beyond. You can still see my shoulder. Anyway, dad jokes aside. <laughs> These are the things you can expect from Twitch streams, guys. This is how I do it. So if you like it, come on by. <laughs> you see what it did there? I see what you did. This is the point in the YouTube video where I hope you're just enjoying yourself. Because at this point, we have used both guns, we've enjoyed both guns, I like them. But I gotta pick one. What's gonna happen to the other one though when I pick them? Pick a favorite. Is it gonna get jealous? Is it gonna go hide in a corner? corner? Am I gonna delete it? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I mean, it could be a battle of attrition. Loser has to get dismantled. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm too much of a collector and I like guns too much. I am not going to delete a gun just for a head-to-head. -head. Now, if it was for charity, sure. Maybe we'll do a closer to Guardian Con. Now, one of the things I will tell you guys on stream and on YouTube is any tips, any uh, YouTube tips, because you can do that, uh, Twitch tips, anything you give to me, I'm going to match up to $100 and then give to Guardian Con. Uh, during the charity live stream leading up to the event in June. So, I'll be there. I'm not not at the charity stream. I'll be there at the event. Uh, I'm going to do a donation during the charity stream, though. But anything you give to me as a tip will go straight to there, and I'll match it up to $100. And we're going to give it on over. Right now, the total above me is 10 So, we're getting there. So, right now, I'll match that $10. And uh, we're going to be generous as heck. Just like Destiny right now. But that's my current plan. If you type exclamation point charity, it kind of explains it. But that's my idea. And uh, who knows? We got we got a couple months. So it could be fun. But I'll let you guys know when I'm going to do that. And uh, during the live stream so you can all... If you contributed and you want to watch and be a part of it, you can. For me, for you, for me, dog. Did a class match, got zero kills, three deaths, and you got a cryptic dragon. I loaded into one on Tuesday night, I think. Or maybe it was an Iron Batch Bender match Monday. No, it was Tuesday. Because I got marks for it. And the uh, the match ended as I like before I even started loading. And uh, I got I got like marks, I got an exotic, I got all sorts of fun stuff for doing zero. Oh, I like this scope. I like this one a lot. I like the low the low drag scopes, the scopes where you can see pretty much everything. I don't like the rifle scopes. Where's the bros at? Come on, bros, I'll be your friend. I have all sorts of presents for you. They're lead-based. So if you're allergic, let me know. You're just going to have that grenade. It's going to be yours. <laughs> Headshot kill, though. Headshot kill? I don't know. The extreme of file with that scope and the high-caliber rounds could be good. Could be a sneaky snake. We will switch about halfway through the match to go with the Continental. We'll try to change up the Continental, see what the hip fire feels like on the Continental. Or is it this one that has hip fire? I can't ever remember. I don't feel like Rodeo does a whole lot for me. Got you. Would have gotten you. You're cool. Guys, thanks for hanging out on Twitch. I do this every morning. Guys watching on YouTube. We're trying to figure out if the Extreme File or the Continental is the better. Or really which one I like the most. Because ultimately, every one of my videos is just a silly opinion from a silly person named Death from Above. Death from Abu. Death from Zero Above X. That's how you really pronounce it. If you're really trying to be cheeky. Have a grenade. It's good for you. You, sir, need to stop. Hmm. Shadow Price. His Shadow Price said, I don't give a rip. What was the roll on the uh, CD? Cryptic Dragon. 
Cryptic Dragon. CD is compact disc to me. Whenever I talk about a new album, I always say, I got a new CD, even though I don't buy CDs anymore. Nobody does. I mean, sure, but somebody does. My wife does. She buys kids' CDs. What? Oh. Okay. You got, oh, you got no time to explain by being a rando. Good, good job. I've done that before. I like being a rando. It's fun to be a rando when you find the right team. Because then you're like, I know what to do. You guys are handling it, so let's just do this. Oh, look at the range. 18 and 13, still got the kill. The range, that's that's what I'm talking about, the range on these guns. It's funny, because the stability makes, it pushes the range out, because you can actually get the hits from distance, but your damage fall off is already there. And you're having problems. Double kill, double kill, double kill. No, just one. Just one. So, I don't know, man. I feel like if I could get this scope on the Continental, that would be game over. I would be happy and pleased and done. I like the scope. I like the Continental's play. I feel like it's quicker. I feel like the Extremophile's equip speed is a little bit slower than the Continental. I could be completely wrong, though. Gotcha. I hate that, though. I hate the... Well, I'm dead, but you're about to be dead. Okay, you're dead now, so we traded. I hate that. I want to be the one alive and just be alive. I see you over there. Yeah! Let's go for a triple. Oh, I'm gonna get you. There it is. Triple. Ish. Dry Bones, what's up? Okay, we are at 4,900. Let's switch it up. We're gonna go back to the Continental and we'll feel like if it's quicker. Maybe Rodeo's making it feel quicker. We'll go hip fire though. We're gonna go hip fire. I think hip fire actually benefits me a little bit more than Rodeo does. Oh, he's got me. Like, all the way dead. <laughs> Wombo comboed into the ground. Into the ground. All right, guys, the music's playing us in. Let's get it. Oh, oh, the frustration. The frustration of that situation right there. If one more headshot. Sounds like you got a lot, a lot of work ahead of you today, Drabones. I do not. I really want that uh, Warlock Cloak. Oh, you're dead. You're so dead, it's not even fun. Okay, it was a little fun. All right, Continental. What you got for me? The scope, man. Like, I don't mind this scope, but I don't prefer it. <laughs> that was the sound of me. <laughs> the best. The best. Oh, heavy. Let's just hang back. We'll get a we'll get a little machine gun break here in the action. This guy's coming hard for this. He's coming this way. Does he think he has something that we don't know about? Because the whole team's here. Now we've got heavy. You really don't have a chance. Where did he go? Mm -mm -mm. Meow, meow. All right, fellas. Let's go heavy. <laughs> I have feeding frenzy on this too. Oh, got him traded. Baron's ambition. I got nice. We're gonna have some some loot at the end of this while we talk about these two guns. So far, I'm liking them both. I don't like the scopes as much on the Continentals. I like on the Extremophile. They're both good guns. You gonna pop up right there again? <laughs> boom to the face. Bam, bam, bam to the face. Let's go for a ranged kill. I have an auto rifle. It's not gonna be effective. I think it's this, this though. What's this? Alright guys, let's take a vote. Which one are you picking? Uh Extremophile or Continental? Which one do you guys think? Take a vote in chat. Put an E for Extremophile, C for Continental. Ooh. That one's a nice gerb. Notice a little bit of bounce. I wonder if Rodeo really benefits me that much. Get your tentacles out of my face! I don't like tentacles in my face. Now we'll drop down, slide away, take a kill, and MLG back up. Have a Nova Bomb. It's good for you. I'll have them. Thank you. Thank you. So Better Spy says Extremophile. Doctrine of Passing. You can't vote Doctrine of Passing. 
That's not a vote. It's not a vote that you can make. Ooh, he got me. He got me. Must have been all headshots. We're almost there. All right, let's go with the hoop. I don't know. I feel like Rodeo was benefiting me a little bit more. I don't know. Extreme of five from Mr. Clean. Ouch. Have a grenade. Everybody die. <laughs> okay. Which one is it? Is it over yet? Yeah, it's over. So there we go. The best around. So what do we think? I'm getting a lot of extremophile votes in chat. Um, so, let's see what the loot is. We'll go check out the guns, and then we'll open some uh, some bounties. So extremophile versus Continental God Roll Showdown still did really well. Either way. So I can't argue that point. It was definitely a good, a good matchup, solid matchup. It's like it was like a, uh, a title fight when they're so. It's such a good fight, but they're pretty evenly matched. Everybody's about an extreme file. Scope seems more sleek on the extreme, but not bulky. Yes, agreed, agreed. Sam Nut says extreme file. I like your name, bro. That's a that's a fun name. So, extreme file versus continental. I'm gonna go extreme file. I'm going with chat too. Music. I did not curate this music. This is perfect. So there you go, guys. What do you guys think? Let me know on YouTube. Let me know what your your vote is. Continental or extreme file? I'm going with extreme file. I have to say that's that's the fun gun. Uh, but let's open these two bounties. See what we get. So we're gonna open the uh, we're gonna open the heavy machine gun first. We got a smolder, whomp, whomp. And then we're gonna open this and get a deal breaker. Okay, I was kinda hoping for a doctrine, but you know, whatever. This I'm gonna immediately delete. Uh, the deal breaker I'll probably hold on to. So we got focus fire, interesting. Hot swap, rifled barrel, ooh. Lock that up. I wanna have some fun with that later. So there you go, guys. Let me know what you think. I wanna know what your vote is. Extreme of file or continental? Did you pick up the continental last week? Have you picked up the extreme of file this week? If not, you should. But don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you want to see more. Twitch Hangout, we're going to do some more. But until next time, I'll see you later. See ya, bye.